Good afternoon. Here in Orlando, we recently had a Top Golf open up and we went and did a video about it and we really enjoyed ourselves. And now we have the direct competitor of Top Golf that has opened up called Drive Shack. So I'm excited to see the differences between Top Golf and Drive Shack. And if you guys haven't seen our Top Golf video, we'll put a link to that in the description down below. But today is all about Drive Shack. So Let's go check it out. The first thing there is, is that they're pretty far away from each other. Top Golf is over by the convention center, whereas this Drive Shack is out by the airport, as you can hear by this plane that's coming in right now. Ooh, so just inside, they've got a little gift shop with some Drive Shack merchandise, some t-shirts and some hats and some gloves, tumblers and stuff. And then, well, there's like an elevator over here. I don't know what the fairways is. It looks like a, like a rental space. I would imagine you could have events in here. Pretty nice, a little bar and everything over here. We got Bay 313. I like that the numbers are turf. It's kind of fun. So Drive Shack does the same thing that Topgolf did and it seems to be a trend everywhere that you have to be a member and it costs $5 to be a member and then you pay per hour here. So it's gonna be, because we're here in the morning, it's $30 an hour and then at noon it goes up to 40 and then after I think like eight it goes up to 50. This is interesting. There's bathrooms on each floor in here. And then look at these, look at these chairs. What the heck? These are interesting. Wow. And then there's a bar up here, which I'm assuming you can get drinks and probably food. If it's anything like Topgolf, we should be able to order food out at our bay as well. But I think you could probably just come here and go to this bar. They got all kinds of fun games up here and stuff like that. We got some ski ball, got some hoop FX. Ooh, some little tabletop games. So this one's Pac-Man. Oh, this is all of them. It's Pac-Man, Galaga, Dig Dug. And then we've got four TVs stacked together to make one giant TV where they're watching golf. Some shuffleboard tables up here too. I love shuffleboard, always fun. Ooh. It's interesting that they're not using the glass beads, or are they? No, this is just like cornstarch. Well, that makes it harder. Yeah, the glass beads make it go a lot better. Here we are, our bay is 313, and this is the lookout. I like the little flamingo out there. So it is a little bit different than Topgolf. They still have all of the different targets and stuff like that, but they're not holes like you would have over at Topgolf. So we're getting set up with our game right now. And actually, it's kind of fun. It's like a monster hunt game where you have to try to aim for the different monsters around. So the idea is we have to kill all these guys in order to get to save the princess at the castle. So he says to try to get the these guys first. And we have three chances to do it. And it kind of tells us how far, I know it's kind of glary, but it tells us how far away each of them are. So here we go, right? You gotta kill these guys up front here first. <laughs> you get three chances, so if you don't hit the the monster on your first hit, you have to go two more times, but if you hit it on your first hit, it's the next person's turn. Okay, those good distance. really winging this ball. <laughs> it's telling me that there are multiple balls detected but there's not two, but there's just one ball. One thing that we didn't realize, cause it's not like extremely notated, but this is the men's side. This is the women's side for the clubs. I think women's have a little bit more flex to them and men's are just a little bit longer. You can kind of see it here. There's also these little energy bars that the monsters have so you can see how like much, many more hits you need to defeat them. You guys see the ball retrieval cart has a target on it? That's really funny.
don't know. I'm not doing so good. But now I have to aim for, I think, the yellow guy. Oh yeah, he's kind of far away. Ooh. I'm gonna go for the circle way out there. What I just noticed is right next to where the clubs are, they've got a little plug and some USB chargers. So if you need to charge your phone, you can. With well, the results are in, Mike wins. That's, I'm here with Mike, by the way. So here's the food that we got. I got the slider trio. It's pretty nice. Got these pretzel bites or pretzel sticks. The loaded house-made chips. And then my friend Mike got a salad with some chicken on it. So we are actually having so many technical difficulties today that the manager had to come over and try to fix this three times. And we actually told him about our technical difficulties like three minutes into it and it took him about 30, 40 minutes to get over here. So they're taking care of our gameplay today, which is nice. They told us the whole reason that they were having issues is because they don't use RFID like Topgolf does. They use this camera system and it tracks the takeoff of the ball and it projects where it's gonna land which is really interesting to me and they said they have a 98.5 success rate so i wanted to give you guys a look at the menu so like i said i got these bavarian pretzel sticks i got the sliders i got these loaded potato chips then my friend mike got this chopped wedge salad kind of a lot of stuff in here these burgers look pretty good and i do like that they have some veggie options they've got some kids meals and there actually are a few kids playing in the bay next to us which is pretty awesome they have these desserts this looks amazing. Oh, some brunch beverages. Oh, they have brunch. This is kind of fun, actually. And they have a whole selection of swing grease. <laughs> These are all alcoholic beverages. And then beer and wine. So far I've had some of the burgers, which were actually kind of really good one bite of this and this cheese was really good but there's not very much of it and then the chips which are really good i like these a lot all right we decided to play a new game we're gonna try shack jack okay so we have to get to 21 okay how do we know what each hole is worth so we just have to try to get specific cards all right, if you don't hit a hole, it just picks a random card for you. Oh, an ace, that's good. You just go straight down the middle to that queen. This blackjack game is kind of fun. Ooh, did you get a 10? No, but it will pick a random card for you. Let's see what his random card is. What's it gonna be? What, nine, ooh. Ooh, all right, I won. Yeah, you busted. You got 26. Yeah. All right, where does it say Tim wins? Tim won the round! I did it! So after the manager came over and cleaned off our camera, the games have been running perfectly, and we're actually having a lot of fun. The monster game was fun. This Blackjack 21 game is super fun. I am proud to say, although I wasn't recording, I did hit the target on the back of the little ball catcher cart here. Didn't give me any extra points though. There's like a hat vending machine where you can get all these different hats that says either birdie, caddy, or divot. It's kind of fun. Sorry, I know that was kind of abrupt. We finished our game, but I wanted to show you guys the third floor a little bit more. There's another bar up here. Little outdoor seating area, which is very nice. Little fire pit over here, which I don't know when they're gonna use that. It was cold for three days this December and it's hot again. It's very nice and breezy up here too. Oh, I like this place. Well, that was fun. Uh, so the prices as far as Top Golf goes are comparable. So it only cost us, well, they took care of it because we had so many technical issues, but it would have cost us $30 per hour because we're here so early. And then at noon, it goes up to $40. And then around eight or so, it goes up to $50 an hour. I think it would be really fun if there was a lot of people and you have to take that into account when you're thinking about your price because there was only two of us. It was easy to kind of play a lot in only two hours. But if there were five of us, it would be, you wouldn't get as much playtime in, but you'd still be able to like sit back and eat food more leisurely. Whereas we kind of felt like we were rushing the food because we wanted to keep playing and get the most out of it. So I had a lot of fun. It seemed like there was less staff here than there was at Topgolf. So like I said, they had to have the manager come over and it took them like 30, 40 minutes for the manager to come over. And it turned out all he had to do was just clean off where the camera sensor was at our tee. That way they, it could sense the ball and see which way it was going and everything. I do think that the RFID is a little bit more reliable that Top Golf has. So at Top Golf, the golf ball has an RFID chip in it, and you hit it and it tracks it wherever it lands and where it's leaving from and stuff like that. 
This one, they just use a camera system to kind of guess where the ball's going. So it's seeing it on the tee and then where your uh, club hits it. And then after that, it's just guessing where it went. There's nothing guaranteeing that this is where it went. I don't know, I mean, it's all for fun. So any way you look at it, it's still a good time, but it does get a little bit competitive when you're like, ah, I got 21 on my blackjack game, but it didn't give it to me. So I don't know. Still a good time. I do recommend coming out here and seeing both of them if you like golf or if you like driving ranges. They're both very comparable and very fun. So with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.